and welcome to Two Tired Teachers. Today we're going to be talking about an inevitable topic of RVing and that is emptying your tanks. I was shocked to find out that this is really a clean process. Um, it's just the thought of it that kind of gets a little bit disgusting. So before we get started I want to talk about the things that most people I go in and use the gloves even though you're really not touching anything. It's just peace of mind and this and lots of hand sanitizer uh, is a good thing. Then I have some sort of a cushion because you never know and a lot of times there's water whenever you're getting to the just from where people have rinsed their tanks or whatever. So you want to have some sort of a cushion and also because of our one of our uh, valves is in kind of an awkward position I have to kind of get under there to pull it. Um, I always have stored with the sewer hose a just a cheap little garden hose so that when I pull up if the drain uh, the there's always water at a dump station and if they don't have it uh, already connected or if there's not a um, connection on the end for a water hose I can simply take my own water hose and connect it to my sewer flush and then I'm ready to flush my tanks once I have emptied them. And then the cheapest dishwashing detergent you can get when we were using a regular toilet, we put lots of this in the tank and that helped with a lot of things. And then you're going to see the hose gets flushed a lot. But still, just for peace of mind, the last thing we do is we squirt this around inside of that hose real well and uh, rinse it so that the last thing that's gone through that hose is soapy water. So, before you get started, what I strongly suggest is to um, make sure that when you're under here, before you disconnect the, um, the cover, check all of your valves. This one has, as I showed, uh, three pictures of a gray water, a black water, and a galley. And so I always make sure that those are all the way in because if it should happen that you're driving down the road and one of those uh, jars loose a little bit, if you, ch if you push those in, maximum you're going to have is maybe what? two feet of something that you have to deal with when you take this plug off. Uh, otherwise, you got a bad situation. Okay, so I will go on and don my gloves for you. And I want to show you that the there's a cover over this. Uh, all of those valves are closed, which means that the water that has drained from the kitchen, which these are should be pretty empty right now. We emptied them last time. The water that's come through the toilet area and the black water, the water coming from the sink or showers, things like that. That's gray. Our, that's our gray water. Sorry, our gray water that comes from the shower, sinks, etc. All of those are plugged. So whenever I open this cap, maybe a little bit of water will drip out, but it's probably going to be dry, very dry. And you'll notice this cap has four groups. That's because this connector has four little no nodules sticking out very similar to these. Now you may be thinking, why in the world would you want a clear connection? Well that's because the last step you're going to do is to rinse that black tank and the only way you can know for sure you've gotten your black tank clear is to see clear water coming through here. So, I simply, there's a gasket in here to keep this sealed. I simply take this connection, make sure that I hit all four of those, and you can, with your gloved hand, feel, make sure. And now we're ready to take the end of this hose, and this is fitted so it fits all kinds of different sizes of uh, sewer system. You take this hose, place it inside of, you lift the cover on the sewage drain, and place that inside. Now at a lot of them, there is a large rock or something that other people have put there. 
it's always best if you can have someone stand there with their foot on it because the last thing you want is for this to go south on you and it can't go south in a hurry. Now, the first thing you're going to do once you're connected is you will go to your black tank. And like I said, my black tank pulls forward. That's another reason why I have this cushion. You go to your black tank and you pull that handle. And when you do, it's going to start flowing. And you just wait until that has drained. Once it's finished or it's gotten down to where there's very little, you push that valve back in. When I do that, I'm going to do two things. Now I'm going to open my gray tank and what that automatically does for me is it starts sending essentially soapy water because it's come from the sink, it's come from the shower, through this hose to rinse it. While that tank is draining, either I or, the, my, or Mylena will turn the water on to flush the black tank. So I'm putting more water in my black tank because it's a holding tank. Everything that comes down just drops. And so you need to make sure that that gets cleaned up. And so we turn that on. When my gray water has pretty much slowed down, sometimes I'll do the galley and the gray water at the same time. When that slows down to a trickle, I close both of, both of these, turn the water off, and then I pull my black tank again. You're going to be surprised at what still comes out. Don't be surprised. But sometimes it'll take three, maybe four times to get this rinse properly. So each time you close, now when I close the black tank again so I can flush it again, I then am going to open my galley and my gray water so that anything that has been, that, that slow trickle that's gathered at that valve now goes on and rinses. And so once this is running clear from my black tank, last thing, be sure that you shut that valve. All of that's shut good. Then you're ready to simply replace this. Take this off. Simply turn it. And the person that's there with you, if you have someone with you, if not, you can simply lay it on top of itself like that. Replace this cap. And the cap is simply so that if anything trickles down while you're driving, you're, you're not getting it all over the road. You're going to empty it at a controlled area. Then finally, the last thing we do while the other end is still in the um, sewage drain, I take this and before I disconnect my water hose from the outlet there, I put a good dose of laundry detergent, I mean of dishwashing detergent all the way around this, take that water hose and rinse it. So this hose is rinsed more than any other. So it actually is really clean. And then the last thing that I suggest you have is a trash bag. And we reuse the trash bag. Uh, but this is going to be wet. You do, you can take this and kind of uh, collapse it like this to get as much water as possible. But there's still going to be some water. So uh, take this, roll it back into your um, trash bag. Stow all of that away. Scrub your hands real good, just because. As you can see, you've touched nothing, but just because. And uh, then you're ready to start your next trip. Hi, one last thing I forgot to mention. And that is before you disconnect the flush, the hose from the flush uh, connection, remember that you need to keep some water in your black tank. That is because this is simply a drop system. And whatever drops down there, if there's not a cushion of water down there, may stick. And as one person mentions, you don't want pyramids. And you certainly don't. So we never had any problems whenever we just made sure that we, we kept a cushion of water in there. Again, thanks for watching Two Tired Teachers.